Hey friends, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil. Thanks for joining me today. We're looking at logos from the MWL, the Midwest League. It's a minor league in the baseball world. And I, you know, we've been doing these videos for like uh, maybe about two years, looking at some of these minor league uh, logos and stuff from these leagues and stuff. And it's just so good. They're just so good. There's so many like funny and really well-designed logos from, from all across minor league baseball. And this is another good example in this league. I can't wait to show them to you if you have not seen them. These are ranked, so we've got 16 to go through. I'm gonna go through them in, si in reverse order, 16 to one, my least favorite to favorite, and I don't give my opinions as we go along. So here are the MWL logos ranked from 16 to one. Starting off with number 16, I put the Lansing Lugnuts. And I, I will say that I, I like the goofiness of this logo, but it's also very hard to read. And I think that's the primary and maybe only reason why I ranked it so low. The Lansing, I can see that, but the, the text that is, is being used in lug nuts, it's very like Rugrats, it's very not symmetrical, it's all over the place. And then the T at the end there, that looks like, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks obvious, I mean, obviously it's a lug nut, but I don't know what creature that's supposed to be. I kind of see turtle a little bit. I kind of see elephant just based on the color. I don't know what creature that is, but either way, my main gripe here is the text. Let's move on to number 15. I put the South Bend Cubs, and this strictly comes down to, uh, I guess, affiliation. I, I appreciate the affiliation between uh, teams. I think it's I think it's a really cool thing actually, but I don't want that to be the primary brand of the affiliated or the affiliation team, affiliated team, whatever, the team below. Uh, I want them to have their own brand identity. Take this logo, take this branding, throw it on the arm, throw it on, you know, the pants or something like that. Show the affiliation, but don't be it the don't make it the primary uh, you know, branding, I guess, of your team. So this is strictly ranked where it is because of that. I just like to have teams to have their own uh, independent uh, look. Number 14, I put the Clinton Lumber Kings. So this is a very, very baseball logo. It is text primary, text heavy here. It's exactly what it should be from a baseball perspective, but the actual wood texture in the Lumber Kings Probably you can't see it from like far away, but up close, it's almost like those books that you used to get as a kid. Maybe they still make them, but they had like a weird design. You couldn't see anything, but then if you like cross your eyes just a certain way, you could see the shape. That's kind of what this reminds me of. It looks like one of those books that you'd open up and see the shapes. I could be very dating myself here. Uh, maybe they don't make those books anymore, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what it reminds me of. I just find it so distracting. I like the colors. The colors are cool. It's got a baseball element at the top of the eyes, the baseball, um, but yeah, just, uh, that texture is not working for me. Number 13, the Fort Wayne, Wayne Tin Caps. Okay, let's remove the Fort Wayne at the bottom. That doesn't need to be there. Uh, the Tin Caps, I love the text. The text is really cool. Not only is it like very industrial, you can see the rivets and stuff, but it's like overlapping. I thought that was a really cool um, approach here. And it's very unique, very, very unique. So I like that. Uh, the apple in the middle, I assume that's an apple. If that's a tomato, I apologize, but it looks like an apple to me. He's got the hat on. Uh, it's it's a little gimmicky, it's a little cartoony, but that's the best part about these entire logos in these league is that they have so much fun with them. So this logo has fun and just, it's very like linear and very horizontal. I think I probably overall prefer like circular or I guess relatively square logos, I guess. This is just, it's very flat for me, but it's, it's a very cool and fun uh, logo. I do like it. Number 12, the Cedar Rapid. Cedar Rapids kernels rather. Uh, <laughs> I I love the colors. We got blue, red, yellow, green. Like all the colors look good together. White in there, complimentary as well. Really cool text. The kernels. Cedar Rapids is actually inside of the graphic, which is nice. But there's so much intricacies with this logo, from the hat to the baseball to the what looks like a stalk of corn as well. Kind of you know two and one there. There's just, there's so much angles and color, different colorization and like little changes in stroking and stuff. It's just a little bit, it's, it's, it's overwhelming a little bit from a visual kind of standpoint. So I, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. So that's kind of why I ranked it down below. Also the expression on that baseball, uh, or sorry, that bat or the um, corn is, uh, is, is, is awkward. It looks like an Easter Island statue. Uh, number 11, the Bowling Green. Uh, the logo itself is very simple. Now this this actually kind of looks like a hockey logo. I've seen logos similar to this. I like the colorization, the orange and the blue look really, really good together. One of my favorite color combinations. Just a very s simplistic logo. This will look good on a jersey, look good on a hat, uh, on a t-shirt, really everything. It's just a little bit boring at the same time. So that's kind of why, why I ranked it where I did. Number 10, I put the 
Beloit. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I'm not familiar with that uh, name or that place. Snappers. Beloit Snappers. Listen, I appreciate the baseball aspects. You've got a character, which is nice. He's angry, which is nice. He's got a baseball bat. You know, there's you can see the diamond in the background of the, the field, whatever. It looks great. The colors are interesting as well. But this, the, I don't know, that turtle or the tortoise, whatever it is, it, I just don't, I just don't like him. Even though he looks a little bit angry in the face, he looks old. Like he looks like he's coming up to bat. Okay, I'm getting ready to, getting ready to hit the ball. He's gonna throw it soon. Oh, he already threw it. I didn't see it. I'm too old. Oh, I pooped myself. Like it's just, it looks like an 150 year old like tortoise up there who just is not ready to play any sports. It just, I don't know. It just looks awkward to me. Uh, that's probably just a me thing, but uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> Number nine, the Great Lake Lakes Loons. Not a fan of the Great Lakes Loons name. Two final words there with S's on the end. It's just kind of an awkward thing to say, but the colors are so good, like really, really good. I love uh, the black just complementing the green nicely, complementing the red nicely. Uh, basically all contained in a shape. The expression on the face is a little bit sly, like, oh, yeah, you want to you wanna play ball? Let's play ball then. I like that. Uh, very Minnesota Wild kind of um, vibes, I guess you can see here. Now, the actual design is really cool. I like the text. Um, it's a little bit hard to see the text because you've got gray, white, green, black, and red. A lot of kind of layers here, but I kind of like it at the same time. I think it looks good from up close, but I think from a distance, it might be, uh, might be not great. But yeah, let's move on. Number eight, the Lake County captains very cool logo you got a bit of like it's almost like it's angled back i guess or i guess it's angled back this way as you're looking at it and uh the colors are great the the font is very applicable to it's very like nautical and stuff baseball themes in there it looks like the the actual wheel on the end the big spokes are the ends of the bat so that, I mean, that's pretty cool yeah let's move on uh next is the dayton dragons uh i mean it's a dragon you can't you can't do a dragon wrong this looks really good the font is incredible you can get the dragon scales down below on the bottom of the t tail of the s which makes the tail of the dragon uh the dragon himself he's just drawn so well that dragon is he just looks amazing colorization shadow depth dimension everything to do with that dragon looks good i love the ferocity and just kind of uh you know you want to play ball let's go game plan in his eyes i love it number six the wisconsin timber rattlers Kind of an awkward name, but I do like this logo because of this. Like, it's very symmetrical just from the the face of the snake. He's just like he's he's just all curled up there down below. Now the colorization kind of makes it look like a pile of poop, but <laughs> either way, I like the face. He's just he's ready to pounce, and that's the thing I like most about this logo. The text all, all above. That's that's it's a little bit distracting, but I do like the stylization of the rattler's text. I think that looks good. Number five, the West Michigan Whitecaps. I love the colors here. I love the fact that you put the ball in the waves. It's you know it's coming over the ball. Just a really cool scene that's taking place, and the whole scene takes place on top of the text, which is kind of in the water. So great colorization and great design, and you've made a character out of this as well. You've made a character out of the scene, which is a hard thing to do. Number four, the Pure Chiefs. Um, I, when I think of baseball, I think of a guy that looks like this, jacked up a little bit, getting ready to go. He's got his leg lifted, knee lifted, and he's ready to, you know, sink into the ball. That's what I like about a character in baseball. Someone that's a little bit muscular, can hit a bunch of home runs, and I think that's represented nicely here. Also, the colors are great. I like the yellow. Looks good with the blue. I like the yellow. Looking good with the red. Uh, and then the blue and the red look good, obviously. The black complements that nicely. Dalmatian makes sense for the you know firehouse but that crappy poopy like gray color around i do not like that i think that clashes i would i would change that but i like I like the baseball aspects i like the colorization uh, other than that one color looks good number three but the quad cities river bandits so great colors here the red and the yellow look good together the black and the yellow look good together the black and the red look good together i like the fact that there's some some imagery of the actual location there's some city there's some bridges in the background that's really cool and then there's some baseball element here and then you get that emotion you get that you just see the eyes you don't see the most you just see like the devilish eyes of this bandit and uh yeah it's cool i like this one a lot Number two, the Burlington Bees. Colors are so good. The specific shade of blue used with this yellow is just amazing. You've got a baseball element in there. He's getting ready to go up to bat. He's got a stinger out. He's ready to go. Uh, the Bees font is very, very baseball. This like screams baseball to me. Everything about this is uh, pretty fantastic. All contained in one big kind of like great uh, shape or graphic. Looks good. And number one, I put 
the Kane County Cougars. That green complements so nicely with the light blue, complements so nicely with the gray, and so nicely with that dark blue. Like from a color perspective, this logo just just kills it. I just, I love it. The Kane County stands out so well in the green up above. The Cougar's font is very stylized, very unique. You got the aggression of the actual Cougar. He's ready to bat. You've got the baseball in there. So this really has everything for me. It's all contained in the shape. The colors are excellent. You got baseball uh, themed in there, baseball themed character. It feels like a baseball logo from the, from the text. Amazing. Like this is a great, great logo. So this is my favorite in the league. Now, honestly, if I were to rank these a month from now, they probably different. This would likely be number one again, absolutely. But from three till, you know, whatever it was, 14, that might be a little bit different. So don't take this ranking too seriously. There really is no right or wrong, but I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What logo in this league do you think was the best? Let me know down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, tell me what league I should do next. And if you haven't seen any of the previous videos of logo rankings from the minor league baseball, there's a playlist called baseball. It's on the main channel. Go check it out. You can see all those videos, other baseball videos as well. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, obviously hit the like button. That definitely helps. I'll talk to you guys in the future very soon. Adios.